This here is the ThinkCar PLD212 smoke leak detector. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why you need something like this in your workshop. So this ThinkCar smoke detector is pretty straightforward. Um, it's powered by the 12 volt battery on the vehicle via these crocodile clips. On the side, we've also got this smoke pressure hose and that just screws into the side of the machine there. On the front of the machine, we've got a pressure gauge so we can pressurize whichever system we're trying to check for a leak on and we've also then got a flow gauge this is going to indicate how big the leak is if we've got one this button here then will turn the smoke on and off for when we need to then look for a leak it's also possible to turn the pressure up and down and we'll have a little play with that when we put it in the vehicle now. Before you get going, you're gonna to need to put some smoke inside of it. And that usually comes in the form of baby oil. It's literally just filled up from the top there. It's really easy. On the back of the machine, it's quite important. You need to make sure you fill it to the correct level. If you overfill it, there is a chance of damaging it. And also if you run the machine without any oil in it, you also run the chance of damaging it. There are some other accessories that you should get with your smoke machine. And that's this cone type tool where you can basically push the cone into the pipe and then put the smoke into this end. I quite like using this with other tools like uh, the pulse sensor. And this tool's really cool. So for when that cone doesn't help you, we've got this inflatable bung, which you just pump up. inside the pipe that you want to test and then you put the smoke machine in this end and the smoke and pressure comes out through the middle of the tool. We then just release this here to remove the tool. We also get a selection of bungs for blocking off orifices for when we're testing different systems. So these could be very useful for things like crankcase breather systems where um, it's not possible to actually close the full system when you want to check leaks in the, in the pipe work. So I've removed the airbox off this Volkswagen diesel engine and unfortunately the cone doesn't fit in there. We've got a sharp kind of right angle there on the hose. So what we're going to do is insert the little inflatable bung like that. And now we can see that that's sealed that air pipe nicely so we can now pressurize the system through this hose. Okay, so let's connect up the power supply to the vehicle battery. And we can hear now that the smoke machine has kicked into life. What we've now got is air being blown out of that pressure pipe. It's currently set on a low setting. So let's now put it inside that intake bung and let's increase the pressure to maximum. So this leak flow detector at the minute is all the way up there and it's quite sensitive because it's down to pick up leaks that are one millimeter plus. Now, the thing that we've got is we are pressurizing the whole intake system and it's quite likely that there's an intake valve open and we're going into the crankcase and around all there. In fact, if we pick out, pull out this um, dipstick we can hear that we just got a load of air pushed out of there. However, I've put a small leak on here, so let's turn the smoke on and see if we can find it. Checking for intake leaks on diesel engines is really important, especially for DPF problems. Now, the engine management system can't detect leaks smaller than 10 millimeters, which is crazy. You'd think it'd be able to do that, but it can't. And if you do get a problem like that, then the DPF will block very quickly. So. Let's get the light out and see if we can see any smoke anywhere. All right, see that there? We'll follow that down. You can see where it's coming out of here. So I've literally just unscrewed this a little bit, okay? So you really do kind of need the torch to see it. I mean, without the torch, it's kind of difficult to see. However, when you get the torch on there, you can start to see that smoke coming out of there. So it's not only intake leaks you can use this for, but can you, you can use it for really anything that you want to check for leaks on, provided it's not full fluid. You know, namely things like uh, exhaust leaks and vacuum system leaks. And you can even use it externally 
For example, on petrol engines, you can look for boost leaks or um, intake leaks where it might suck the smoke in. So it does get a bit messy, but you get the idea. You can go around various parts of the pipe and look for that smoke to be sucked into intake pipes or possibly vacuum hoses and vacuum systems and things like that. Even pressurized systems, you know, you should be able to see the smoke be pushed away. So pretty cool tool, go and check them out.